All right, so I just purchased this. It's called an Every Drop, and it's for the Whirlpool refrigerator. And I'm going to show you how you put it in your refrigerator. All right, all right. So the first thing is we got to get it out of this package. So that's uh, usually the hardest part. All right, here we go. Got it out. <clears throat> so here it is. It's got a little thing on top. You got to take that off. And if you look here, you've got these little channels. So it's going to slip in and then you got to turn it. So we're going to try that. First, we got to take the old one out and there may be some spillage. So we're going to probably grab a paper towel. And you can see this is for Whirlpools, Maytags, a whole bunch of different ones. And uh, supposedly these last for about six months. So let's uh, go ahead and do it. All right, so here is our Whirlpool refrigerator. And the way you find it is you got to come all the way down to the bottom. You're going to open this up and you're going to see all the way down here is where it goes in, right here. This is it here. So to get it out, what I've got to do is just turn this. But it, it's hard to turn. But once you do that, then you pull it like this. And you may get a little leak leakage. You may get a little leakage, but not. And so here, this is the key part, look. So when I put it in, I'm gonna put it in this way and then turn it this way. And this slides off of here like that. So you see how that goes on? Just like that. So, so, so we'll see the little water came out. So let's set that one down. Let's grab our other one. All right, so here we are, have it. We're gonna slide this on like that, right? We're gonna put it in the exact same way with this up. Let's move that out of the way. We're gonna slide it in. Once we get it in there, I'm gonna turn it and then squeeze it that way. And that should be ready to go, hopefully. <laughs> I hope we did a good job. And this one we can go ahead and throw away. How do, I, how do you know if your filter's bad? Well, it's gonna tell you. Green, you got a good filter. Yellow, you got a order of filter. And red, you gotta change the filter. Filter indicator reset. Push the button, switch five times in 10 seconds to reset the indicator to green. So that means I gotta come over here and push this five times. One, two, three, four, five. And it went to yeah, and it's going to yellow. Yeah. Oh, there we go, we got it green. All right, so it looks like we're cool. Now what we gotta do is just drain some water out of there. All right, let's grab a cup, just like that. Let's get in here. And here's our little water thing. You could press this or you could push it against this thing in the back. And we're just gonna get, make sure that we're not, we're not leaking. You can hear it out here. I think we got it cleared. All right, so the first time you do it, oh, see that? Didn't have it back far enough. First time you do it, it makes a lot of noise. See that? You hear it? It's trying to get in the filter. So that takes a while. And then when you pull it away, sometimes it keeps coming. Oh, that's working pretty good now. So I would run a couple cups through it first before you start drinking it. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I don't know. All right, one more. I think we're looking good. It's coming through nice now. Good. And you got to make sure that you don't have any water leaking out of here. All right. Look, I spilled some there. But that's it. That's how you do it. All right. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos. Push out.